Hi. My name is Laura. I just got back from the supermarket, where I went to get some baking ingredients for this cake I'm making for my friend Owen, like eggs, butter, flour, and milk. Now I just need to mix everything together, and put it into the oven. Be right back. Hi again. The cake batter is in the oven, and it already smells delicious. I had to heat and melt some butter on the hot plate to put in the batter. So heating the butter made it melt. Somehow though, I accidentally melted too much butter. But instead of throwing the rest away, I put it in the fridge. So, now it has turned back into butter again. Because cooling melted butter makes it solid again. I'm also making Owen some spaghetti for dinner. I will have to boil some water before I put the spaghetti in. Have you ever noticed how some of the boiling water, turns into steam? Then sometimes the steam gets caught on the kitchen windows, and condenses, as it cools down. When that happens, it turns into water again. See the droplets? The spaghetti I put into the boiling water is hard to begin with, but it gets softer the more it boils. But, unlike the butter in the water, once the spaghetti gets cool, it doesn't go back to being hard. It stays soft. So, some changes we make to things? Are reversible. This means that we can change things back to the way they were, before. Some other changes are irreversible. That means that we cannot change things back to the way they were before. Adding heat to butter and water makes them change, but removing heat? Changes them back. So the change is reversible. Adding heat to the spaghetti makes a change, but removing heat doesn't change it back. The change is irreversible. Funny how that works, right? What do you think is going to happen to the eggs I have in the batter, once the cake is baked? That's right. They will be cooked, because they are heated in the oven, and, because I whisk them together with the sugar, they will make my cake, nice and soft. Do you think I can turn the eggs in the cake, back into raw, runny eggs? No. The eggs have changed irreversibly. Oh. I almost forgot that I have the cake in the oven. Just imagine if I had forgotten it. It would have gotten burned, from all the heat. And, like a match that we've lit, once it is burned, it cannot change back. That change would have been irreversible too. Let me take the cake out of the oven. I can't wait until Owen gets here. I will tell him all about how things, like water and butter, can be heated, and then go back to how they were, and how other things, like eggs and spaghetti, change irreversibly when they are heated. Maybe he'll have some examples of reversible and irreversible changes of his own. How about you? Can you think of things that change irreversibly when they are heated? How about if they are cooled? And can you think of things that can go back to how they were, even if they are heated or cooled? That must be Owen at the door. I'd better get that. Have fun exploring.